Right, I'm back with you to do a part two on painting this door. Um, the last video we did, I explained all about the names um, of the parts of the door and painted it. Unfortunately, um, my technical director for videoing didn't do a very good job and we had a little bit of soft focus. It was great for me to make me look younger but it uh, wasn't very good to actually see what I was doing. So I'm back with you just to do a part two of painting the door. I used the um, side of the door that I've labelled all up. Um, can you see me there? And what I'll do, I'll paint it. Again, we're doing the same principles. Um, we're doing the mouldings, we're doing the panels, working away down with the mouldings and panels, then working from the top down, and I'll show you. So here we are, I'm gonna paint the door. I'll do a little bit of running commentary while we're doing it, but I hope this explains it. Um, that you can actually see it so I'm in focus I can see I'm in focus again thumbs up comments like and subscribe you can do all that I'm not too worried I'm just trying to show you how to paint a door with a brush because you might be um, looking at doing a bit of home DIY you might even be a professional decorator that's never done um, a door as I'm showing you because you might not have been to college or been trained um, with an apprenticeship or anything like that so um, to be fair, um, I'm going to just do a quick video for you this um, this morning just to show you how to do it properly in inverted commas. Right, bear with me. I'm back. Still got my paint kettle. I'm using the Eco Union brush again. Um, nice two and a half inch. Uh, it's just nice for doing this door. And I'm going to crack on with the um, panel door, six panel door. Lifted it up off the ground. Can you see me? Yeah, I am in focus. Starting with these mouldings first. Getting it nicely on. Getting it all in there. All the way around the sides. Coming into the panel, right? Crisscrossed it. That's actually your crow's nesting, right? We're laying off, lay off, all the way, lay off, get it all neat. Done. Moving on to the next one. You see, I'm getting my fatty edges for you because I'm going to come back and do those in a minute. Mouldings, panel. The textured door, it's got the wood grain on it, and all the way around. Wipe my brush down, scrub off those, scrub the fatty edges off. Now, those will dry off, so when I come back to do it, when I come back to do that, that rail, can you remember what that's called? Mullion, top mullion, I want to come back to do that. That will all be dry around it, so we're all right with that. What's going to be interesting is the marker pen. I'm hoping will actually show through this water-based paint. It will bleed through all the way around. Panel. Let's get it on water-based you don't have to play about with it and it's all the way on lay off nicely around the mouldings if you want to use a smaller brush on the mouldings you can do not a problem there don't forget this is first coat, this is the first primer coat over a brand new egg box panel door. Coming in, right we're laying it off. Lay off the sides, knock off the fatty edges. As I said in the last video, with water-based paint it's not so detrimental with it drying off, but it, it would be if it was an oil-based paint. 
It was an oil-based egg show. Got a hair. Get rid of that. You know what they say? Hair today, gone tomorrow. Get that round there. Oil-based paints are different medium that you're working with. Slightly thicker. Drying times are different. So coming into the panel, let's get in it on. Putting that crow's nest crisscross to make sure it covers nicely, spreading it all out. Doing it quickly for you. Lay off nicely, laying off with the tips of the bristles. I've got those sides off just in case there's any fatty edges. Coming in. Oh. Nearly at the end of the panels now, look. Mouldings, get your mouldings out of the way. Mouldings, a bit more paint on at the panel. Lay it off nicely, tips of the bristles again, all the way around. Not got much paint on my brush there, so I can just knock those off. Now, they're all drying off nicely. I'm just going to paint that door edge, that's the hinge edge. You could do that first, we can do it at this stage. Obviously there's no hinges on it because it's a sample door. Looks like it's been planed, it's very furry. That first coat of the acrylic, like this is, will dry nicely. So when you put your next coats on, you can just rub down. You can rub down that coat of paint. Scrubbing it in because it's a bit furry and woolly. If you want a bit more information on the parts of the door, please look at the previous video I did. The Atomini, the, is the word Atomini or Atomini? Atomini? Atonomy, doesn't matter. Right. Coming across the top, we've done that mullion rail, coming across that top rail now. Can you see? Laying it off, they're laid off. Coming down the sides. these sides in. Remember I showed you in the last one, part bringing that down. I'm going to bring this across. It's all to do with wet edges. Keeping your wet edge going. Nicely cutting in across those lines. Keeping it neat to the style of the door. Keeping it neat. Bring these edges down look. All the way down to the, the lock where the screws are. Just go around that latch neatly. Just be very careful that it's not full of grease. On that bit, coming on these sides, bringing the sides down, the styles. Right, finishing on that mid mullion, just bringing that in. Again, tips the bristles to lay it off. Right, pull that in there. That's the lower mullion, bringing this mid rail in. Very similar to how we did the freeze rail, which is the one above it. Just nice amount of paint on, laying it off. Wipe down if you think there's a bit too much paint on your bristles. Wipe, wipe it across, just feather those across there. Right, homeward straight. Coming all the way down to the bottom rail, finishing off this Lock style. You can't see on the video, but I'm rotating my brush from the width to the thickness there, one way to the other. Utilize it to your advantage. Doing it that way is like using what three quarters of an inch brush. You can get a nice amount on, really all the way down. Look, then I'm rotating it round in my fingers, bringing it up, bringing it up nicely. Let's finish this lower mullion. Lower mullion's being brought in. 
you can see how me stain the marker paint it's coming through that's good if that's what I want right bottom rail we're finishing off the bottom rail now coming in if you've got your newspaper down you can just go on to that make sure your bottom part of your doors coated up and bringing that all the way across and then just finish off with those lower parts of the styles that one there that one there finish and that's it that's it everybody so wiping my kettle down still using one side of the kettle to bring you back in so yeah that's how you can do a door what 10 minutes a door side and I'm talking to you so all those that say you can do it with a, a roller quicker yeah I know you can I know you can spray it quicker but today I've shown you how to paint a door a six panel door six panel door with a nice two and a half inch brush that's the eco union brush using water-based paint jobs are good now that's the first coat of probably um, three that would be a primer coat you'd probably do an undercoat and then a top coat some paints you require an undercoat and two top coats you'd still need a primer if it's bare like this but that doesn't matter that's sort out whatever paint you're using depending on the system you need but that's how you paint a panel door professionally and if you want to know all the names of these parts of the doors the moldings the panels the mullions please please watch the previous video where we're out of focus but for now 12 minutes in i've shown you how to do a door thank you very much for watching comments thumbs smash that like button over and out